So in this video now, we have to make it so that the frog receives the message that it's dead and then it does a routine to die, but then it also has to do some kind of a routine to come back to life again. So we're done with the killer car. So let's go to our frog. We've got our comment there that set the frog is dead to zero. And inside of this loop, we're gonna have to add some, some more complicated blocks of code. So I'm just gonna move this if over to the side for right now. These are great for the up, down, uh, right, and left arrows, but we need to add something a little bit more complicated to say, is the frog alive? If so, do this. Is the frog dead? If so, do that. So in this case, I'm gonna get uh, an if, but it's not a plain old if like we're used to, it's an if then else. Uh, or an if else. And in this case, we want to know, is the frog dead? So in this case, it would be true if it's set to one. So buckle your seat belts, it's going to get a little bit complicated here. First, we're going to go to the green operators palette. And we're going to check for an equal sign. So we're going to put it right in there when we're done, but I'm just going to keep mine separate for now. And we're going to check if something is equal to something else. And we want to check if frog is dead. So I'm going to put that in the first one. It doesn't really matter which one you put it into, but it makes more sense. So if the frog is dead is equal to, and then I can type in the number one there. And then I can click on the green and drag the green into the area. So now if the frog is dead is equal to one, which we now know that the frog is dead, then it's going to do something. But else, if it's not dead, that means it's alive, and I can put these, all these up and down arrows, into the else area. So if it's alive, else, so still keep going up, down, and left, and right, but if it's dead, then we need some code to go in here. So the first thing that we should always have, because everybody always does this, is to have some sound effect. And so I'm gonna to go to a sound effect, and I'm going to add a new sound effect. And personally, I just love the bell toll. It's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna say, okay. So there's the bell toll. And so when the frog dies, the first thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna sound this bell toll. I'm gonna to put that into the forever so I don't forget to attach it back in. And then the other thing I'm gonna do, because I only want this glide here, is I'm going to, after I play the sound, I'm going to glide back to the start position. Okay, so we haven't really figured out a lot of stuff yet, but let's give this a try. So here comes the car, and then my frog glided back to the start position. Oh, and there's my bell toll. Now, why is it going over and over again? So let's press stop there. So why is it going over and over again? Well, it's going over and over again because the frog is still dead. And so if after I do this, if I click the up and down arrows, they won't work because the frog is still dead. So once the frog has been announced to be dead, once the sound has played, once it's glided back to the start position, we need to tell the game that the frog is alive again. And so in order to do that, we're going to set the frog is dead to zero, which is false, which means it's alive. So let's add that right there. Okay, and this time we should only hear one bell toll. So, oh, there we go. So one, only one sound effect and the frog glided back to the start position, although these go in really slowly. So I'm just gonna stop that. I'd like him to go back very quickly. And now the other thing is if you don't like him gliding back at the very beginning of the game, you can certainly do other things. Uh, you can just send him there, which under the motion tab would just be go to X position, Y position. Uh, that's easy enough to do. You can just take out the glide and put in the go to. Either one will work. So we'll just do that. And then up he comes. Okay. Now he's alive again, so he's back in action, and oh, yeah, there, and once he gets back to the start, now my arrow keys aren't working, and then my arrow keys are working again. So 
That's a basic way to get the frog to die and then come back to life again. Yay, hooray.